Hello, in this tutorial on C++ I want to show you something that I uh, that I don't speak earlier but this will be a very short tutorial like size of and the return statement ok write out the size of int like that save it and compile the program alright run the program and as you can see it's right 4 it is 4 bytes it reserves 4 bytes of memory it's needed 4 byte. bytes alright here uh, you can write bool it should just allocate 1 byte of memory so and as you can see 1 byte you can uh, double see that what how many memory does the double allocate run and it allocate 8 bytes of memory try float alright it is 4 bytes of memory so because int and float uses the same amount of memory a uh, float can cannot hold too much number uh, too big number uh, double can hold a relatively big numbers alright uh, you can you can adjust the write out the, the types you can write out the size of uh, variables so make an integer array so array with 10 elements like that and make it and write it here save it uh, compile the program, run it, and as you can see, it allocates 40 bytes because 10 times 4 bytes, which is the size of the integer. Alright, that is one thing I wanted to show you today, and the other is the return statement. So, every time uh, for today, so before today, we put the ret return at the very so the very end of the function like in case of main we put here the return but actually can put it anywhere it is just a normal statement so if we give a value to it uh, in the t t t is bigger than i don't know 5 then return 0 as return 1 when the return is uh, actually delete this because it means the same when the return is called so when the return statement is in here it will return with some value in this case it is 0 and the and it will not continue to run the uh, function so it will never reach that return 1 statement if it is returned with 0 if t is uh, less than 5 then it will return with 1 so it will not return with 0 it will return with 1 uh, if we put another return here, for example return 2, it will never be reached by the program because return 0 or return uh, return 0 or return 1 will uh, happen uh, not matter uh, what's happened, one of them will return, but only one of them will return. So we can use the uh, so we can use the return anywhere, just the program after it, if its return happen, will not continue. So if I write something here, count something like that, and call that function, so read and call it with uh, 7 alright let's see what's gonna happen 
or by the way you should already know that as you can see it doesn't write out the something text because the 7 is greater than 5 so it will return with 0 the other part of the function will uh, not run ok but if we call it with uh, 3 it will write out the something and return with 1 so as you can see it writes out something and return 1 we don't see that uh, which uh, so what does it return if we don't write out but uh, never mind so I said this, this will be a very so short tutorial because um, that's it all I want to say is that the size of and the return alright thanks for watching and have a great day